Even though a lot of people don't want to admit it, Arsenal are in a mini injury crisis. Now they still have a lot of their main players and often haven't really been struggling but that is often because of the adaptations of Mikel Arteta and the team. And one of the main concerns for this Arsenal team was the striker position and how they weren't taking chances. But with the inclusion of Trossard, Arsenal have found a solution to these problems and this is how they've done it. Now we all know Trossard is a very good option, he's probably one of the better finishers on the team and I'd put him up there as Martinelli. Some Sometimes he does miss chances when he's off form. I think this season at large parts he was. But he's also a very good fluid player to have up front. He's very much not really a striker and can play off it and help Arsenal in attack. Right now, that is the key thing for Arsenal, I think. Having a striker that works with the wingers and works with the midfield rather than having someone that just sits in the box and waits for the ball. Now, the first thing that Trossard is very good at is working with Havertz in midfield. Now, we have seen Havertz used up front and Arsenal use a double pivot. But I think the system with Odegaard obviously being a lot more instrumental and have been a lot more deeper works a lot more with Trossard with Havertz. This is because when Arsenal want to build up often they use a 4-2-4. This is when teams are pressing high against them which we've seen quite a lot often recently with teams trying to ping Arsenal in. Now in order to get the wingers up further Arteta has been implementing Trossard and Havertz in a bit of a fluid role in midfield. Often when Arsenal have the ball a lot deeper like this Trossard and Havertz would sit in the middle trying to split the line. Now often with Odegaard becoming deeper and in the end Ben White overlap and going into the inverted position if Odegaard's pushed up and told him to. This allows Arsenal to break into a four situation if they can recycle the ball down the left or right side of the pitch where there's a lot of space. This means that Odegaard will then join the attack to create the five going forward to help their 3 2 5 attack him. And obviously, if Ben White will overlap and create it if Odegaard's still deeper. Trossard and Havertz have to work together in this situation. They're sort of playing as a combined striker setup where Havertz often is the one that will run in behind the defense defenders which we saw a lot against Burnley he'd be the one making the run and be trying to win the duels and be physical on the defenders and this is comparison to Trossard who's more of the passive forward Trossard's much better with the ball to his feet and much better dribbling and in tight spaces this means he can be a bit deeper and sort of work around Odegaard and Saka this allows Havertz to get further up the pitch and usually be an impact further up. He's not as good on the ball, but he's got much better off the ball movement, so him making these runs makes more sense. And if Arsenal are struggling for space around the defence, Trossard's often the person to come a bit closer and a bit deeper to help with the ball. This is if it isn't really on Odegaard's side on the right side, and if it's on that left with Havertz moving into a more nine role being on the last defender, you expect Trossard to ask for the ball to his feet so he can get past in the tight angles and often try and pass the ball to the space of Sam or through for Havertz. Now one of the things that makes Trossard so clinical and really important for Arsenal in this team is, is how quick he is in transition. When he comes deeper with the ball in midfield he often has very much good awareness to go and put the ball out wide and then run in still. For instance against Burnley Arsenal kept doing this system where Havertz would be the last defender run and trying to be physical with the centre backs. This worked a few times with really good balls by Odegaard and Trossard to send Havertz through. This happened in Arsenal's second goal against Burnley where it's in order to win in the penalty they actually had a through ball over the top for Havertz on the last defender this happened a few times in the first half and actually made sure that Saka and Trossard ran unbehind him on that right side this meant that Havertz wasn't the only person by himself and he brought it down one time for Saka who put it across for Trossard who missed and the next time he laid it off to Trossard who went past the defender and got brought down for the penalty so it worked really well with them two's chemistry to work together to run together and Trossard to run a little bit after Havertz when Havertz had bring the ball down and this is one of the key reasons why I think this system works I think Arteta likes using Gabriel Jesus because he has a lot of physicality and a lot of intensity to try and win the ball but Trossard in my opinion is a faster player and a bit more better at positioning and he can do a really smart role like this while he comes into midfield and helps the players while also pressing up when he needs to and he does so many different things for the team because when Arsenal have the ball and they're struggling to get the press back in defence he will often be that third player helping Rice and Odegaard now I spoke about this in my Odegaard video where Odegaard comes back to make sure Burnley push back so Arsenal can get into their creative shape but Trossard also is there for the help because he believes in his turn ability and his believes in his ability to get the ball out of the box and in recently for Arsenal his position in some of these games has been really really special he's actually coming into the right side pocket to help people like Ben White when he overlaps and Saka even though there's already players there this often means that defences will move along to try and protect that and try and counter Arsenal's attack which in turn gives someone like Havertz a run in behind on 
that left side or Martinelli a lot of space and we've been seeing this more and more happen with the switchability happening with Gabriel and Saliba passing it across. And despite him playing a bit deeper when Arsenal do have the ball to try and help us progress the ball up, when we don't have the ball he is usually the furthest one forward. Havertz is using a bit of a deeper role to win the headers and be a bit more physical when Arsenal are trying to win duels and try to keep the ball a lot often. This happened a few times as instance for the fourth goal that Chos had scored, Havertz won the header to get us on the attack. In these circumstances and when Arsenal don't have the ball and they've pressed the teams deeper, Trossard and Matt Odegaard often are the two starters. Odegaard starts the press and usually shadow marks the midfielder while going to one of the defenders. Trossard often stays in a between the half spaces of the defenders waiting for a mistake. But as soon as he sees Odegaard go and start the press to the one of the centre backs, he will often try and press the other centre back or the goalkeeper. And he's very vital when Arsenal trying to win the ball back deeper. And naturally, as a striker, Trossard often isn't even in midfield. He does actually get into a lot of really good positions going forward I think the attacking side of him is really vital and I know he's still not the most clinical player it seems like no Arsenal player is before his height he really does get into the box and hold himself well he is not brilliant in the air which has cost us sometimes but I really like his movement and often he has a lot of chances in their game which you expect for any attacker for Arsenal and in the last two games against West Ham and against Burnley I think you have seen him in Havertz's connection really well one drops deep one goes forward and it's not really like Trossard's up front it's more like they're both up front but they're also both in midfield helping us sometimes and you don't really mind Trossard coming into that vacated Odegaard role when Odegaard's playing a bit deeper to press the ball up if Gabriel Jesus is there like he is a very good dribble and very physical player but I don't know if you want him playing that deep because often I don't think he really has the pace or the positioning to get into the right spaces when we get into the box later on Trossard does have that ability to be able to do that as he's naturally probably more of a midfielder and deeper player than Gabriel Jesus and Trossard works so well in this system being able to kind of freely move I mean he has to abide by the tactics a lot but he can kind of go about where he wants and sort of pick up positions this helps him a lot because when Arsenal are pinning teams in like they are with this constant change of tactics constant change of ability of players it allows what he does best and it's running at defenders and giving space for himself obviously we all know how good his dribbling ability is and when he can go past a few players in space he always does it and this really gives him that chance and because he is so good at striking on both feet he can often score very top goals now his goal record is not always the best but sometimes he has played a bit deeper but he is also a very good finisher and yes he missed chances in the last few games but he's definitely taken some he's got three and three now and scored some brilliant finishes i think gabriel Jesus is a phenomenal footballer but i think right now with the current complexion of things it's kind of hard to put him in the team i think that him and havertz clash a little too much and havertz have been working much better as you see by the amount of goals arsenal have scored this is why in my opinion they have solved their striker and attacking problems mostly with the inclusion of trossard being there instead of jesus so i don't think Jesus should start when he comes back let me know what you guys think about this video and thank you guys for watching now i had a lot of comments saying that i spoke too quickly so i'm trying to calm that down for you guys sorry about that obviously it's a learning process i appreciate you all for being nice about it um and if you enjoyed this video please go and watch my odegaard video i did yesterday where i go in depth onto the tactics you might have to put it in slow speed i'm sorry about that but i appreciate you guys as always thank you